Thank you for being here today, sharing your experience. Our pleasure to present you as our master of nail art, and you deserve the title. You have demonstrated your art talents in nail art design. You have made stunning nail art in the categories of 3D, rhinestone color, hand painted, latest strand, and fantasy nails. Uh, please help us define the meaning of your artworks and where do you find your inspiration? I find a lot of my inspiration from movies. So like most of my hands are based off of movies and then just other people on Instagram and just pictures I see. Okay, and what motivates you to create? When I have a vision of something and I just want to see it like in person. So let's tell us this piece here. This is a fantasy nail art. So what I've seen is a skull and that's a cat. A cat and the crow. The crow. Okay, can you explain about this artwork? Can you tell us how did you make it? And where's your inspiration and what is the theme and what message you try to convey? Um, I was kind of doing a Halloween theme and then I just started with the skull with acrylic and then I added the bird on top because I wanted it to be like very 3D and then I needed to take up space so I put a cat. Okay, so what is inside the body of the cat? The cat is tin foil that I put acrylic around and then I made the legs and uh -huh. tail and head and everything out of acrylic. Wow. How do you develop your art skills? I just practice a lot and try new things and then if I fail I just try it again. And what's your favorite holiday theme to make nail art? You just mentioned Halloween, is it your Yeah, theme? Halloween is my favorite. Uh -huh. Do you have any next project for the upcoming Halloween? Um, Probably. Holiday? Probably okay. do spiders or something. Got it. So let's see. Um, there's some I have not seen. Oh, that's more. That one's not finished. Not finished, but they're very very beautiful and I have not seen such amazing artwork and I've seen here Halloween, more Halloweens, right? This is... Kind of. Yeah. And uh, professionally, what's your goal? I just want to be able to go to work and not have to worry about like what I'm doing later in life. I just want to be content with what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. um, do you see yourself as a big name in the near future? Because I, in my many years, over 20 years of uh, running the school, I have not seen rare talents like yours. Have you seen yourself as a big artist in the future? I just want to be a small artist. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like attention. Okay. And I just kind of do this yeah. type of stuff for fun. For fun, okay. Um, okay. So, uh, what, uh, what advice would you like to give to your friends here and people who are inspired by you to achieve doing this kind of nail art? I mean, I, I don't know if I'm capable of this, but how do I get there? You just have to be really patient. Like it takes me a really long time, and how long like for I this one? That took like two days. <laughs> two days for five fingers, or, or just one? For all five. For all five. Two days. Okay. So. How many hours a day? Probably like five. Five. Okay. Okay. So um, thank you so much for sharing experience, sharing your inspiration, and being very humble. It would be cool to see your artworks all over the internet and in Cosmotech College classroom. 
Now, Cosmotech College is honored and excited to announce you as the Master of Nail Art. Okay. Okay, so my honor to give this to you. Thank Can you. you stand up and pose in front of your art, the artwork? Thank you.